It was just before this time last night when a student was stabbed and a security guard was shot at McKinley High School. And we are still waiting on information about a suspect. Good evening, I'm Mary Ellis Stemler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. No update on the investigation from police today. Now we have team coverage this evening trying to get answers for you from top officials about yesterday's violence. Our Ron Plants is live at police headquarters tonight and Kelly Dudzik is just outside McKinley High School. Let's begin with you, Kelly. Hi, Scott. No arrests yet, and Buffalo Police and the school district did not hold press conferences today. They also didn't make anybody available for interviews. Students are in remote learning for at least the rest of the week, and because of that, the school and its parking lots are pretty empty today. The massive police response is also gone. To bring everybody up to speed, the stabbing and shooting happened yesterday afternoon in the parking lot at McKinley High School after the school day was over with. About 100 staff and students were locked down inside the school until about 7 o'clock last night. No one's been arrested, and police have not released any information about the suspect or suspects. Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown posted on his Facebook page today that the student who was stabbed is in stable condition and is being closely monitored, and that surgeons were able to figure out that he wasn't shot but was stabbed several times. The mayor says first responders thought he was shot, so that's why police told us that yesterday. The student is a 14-year-old boy. The security officer was shot in the leg. We confirmed today that his name is Bradley Walker, and the mayor says he's out of the hospital and he's expected to make a full recovery. There's also counseling available for families, and there's information about that posted on the high school's Facebook page. Live in Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.